There are some people in the world who say that writing stories or composing music or dancing sparkly dances is easy for them. Nothing interferes with their ability to create. While I celebrate their creative freedom, a little part of me wants to punch those motherfuckers in the teeth. This song, I sing this song for you guys and for all the rest of us. Help me out, y'all. We'll sing back up. You have a story to tell, a novel you keep in a drawer. Old sock drawer. You have a painting to paint, but you're lazy like an old French whore. Just we whore. You have a movie to make, shrinky dinks you can bake, but you best grab a steak, cuz in sweep the vampires in, creep the vampires knee deep, and vampires fill. With doubt, insecurity about what your art should be in, sweep the vampires, die vampire! You sketched that turtle you saw in an ad on late night cable TV, tippy turtle! But your fourth grade teacher said, you can't draw, oh those vampires won't let you be, fuck you Miss Johnson, word. And when they come run like hell, see those bats in your belfry, then call on Van Helsing. In swoosh, the vampires in a whoosh, the vampires Baba Ganoosh, all the vampires filling do. you with thoughts of subconsciousness, feelings of worthlessness. They'll make you second guess. Die vampire! There are so many vampires inside, outside, and nationwide. It helps to recognize them with this vampire hunting guide. Listen closely. A vampire is any person or thought or feeling that stands between you and your creative self-expression, but they can assume many seductive forms. Here's a few of them. Tell us, Susan! First up are your pygmy vampires. They'll swarm around your head like gnats and say things like... Your teeth need whitening. You went to state school. You sound weird. Shakespeare. Sondheim. And Sedaris. Did it before you and better than you. Or they might say that you cannot sing good enough to be in a musical. Or they might say... Who your song's derivative? Who your song's derivative? Who your song's derivative? To keep that song from you, to tell them... Die, vampire, die! Brothers and sisters, Next up is the air freshener vampire. She might look like your mama or your old fat ass fat aunt Fanny. If she smells something unpleasant in what you're creating, she'll urge you to it with some pine fresh smell em ups. The air freshener vampire doesn't want you to write about bad language, blood, or blowjobs. She wants you to clean it up and clean it out, which will leave your work toothless, gutless, and crotchless. But you'll be left with two tight paragraphs on kittens that your grandma would be so proud of. You look at that air freshener vampire and her fat ass, fat old fucking face, and you say, the last vampire is the mother of all vampires, and that is the vampire of despair. It'll wake you up at 4 a.m. to say things like, Who do you think you're kidding? You look like a fool. No matter how hard you try, you'll never be good enough. Why is it if some dude walked up to me on the subway platform and said these things, I would think he was a mentally ill asshole. But if the vampire inside my head says it, it's the voice of reason. You have a story to tell. Pull your novel out of that sock drawer. You have a painting to paint. You best paint it and then pay some more. Escape, then grab it by the nape of its neck, by the trachea. Fucking break it, go on, drive the stake, and yeah, there's no mistake. And now you're shaking bacon. Die, vampire. I said, die, vampire. I said, now die, vampire. 